Hello, and welcome to our lesson on solving problems using the binomial expansion. So this is our fourth lesson in the binomial expansion playlist. So I'm going to assume that we are familiar with the n choice r function on our calculator. If we're not familiar with that, if you go back to the Mr. Mathematics website, you can check out the previous lessons. So we're going to use the binomial expansion to write down the first four terms of the expansion 1 plus 2x to the power of 6. So we'll begin with 6 choice 0 of 1 to the power of 6 and then 2x to the power of 0. Our next term will be 6 choice 1 of 1 to the 5 and then 2x to the 1. And as you can see, as we progress through this expansion, we will have these two powers adding to the original 6. So 6 at 0 and 5 at 1 and so on. So our next term will be 6 choice 2 of 1 to the 4 and then 2x squared. Our next term will be 6 choice 3 of 1 to the 3 and then 2x cubed. So now you can see we have the first four terms. So our first, second, third and fourth term. So now we can tidy this up. We know that 6 choice 0 is 1, as is 1 to the 6, as is 2x to the 0. So all of this becomes 1. We also know that 6 choice 1 on our calculators comes out as 6, and then we have 1 power of 2x. So this becomes 6 lots of 2x. For our next term, we have 6 choice 2, which is 15. We know this is 1, and then we have 2x all squared, so this becomes 4x squared. So now we have 15 lots of 4x squared. On our fourth term, 6 choice 3 is 20, 1 to the 3 is 1, and then 2x cubed, so this becomes 8x cubed. We can continue to tidy this up. So we have 6 lots of 2. So that becomes 12x. 15 lots of 4. So 60x squared. And then 20 lots of 8. So 160x cubed. So here we have the first four terms of this expansion. Now for part B, we've been asked to use this expansion to find a suitable value of x and an approximation to 1.2 to the power of 6. So if we compare 1 plus 2x to the 6 and 1.2 to the 6, we can see the only thing that's different is that 1 plus 2x has now been written as 1.2. So we can write this as an equation. So 1 plus 2x is equal to 1.2. Now to find the suitable value of x, we're going to solve this equation. So we'll take away 1 from both sides. So 2x will equal 0.2 and then x will equal 0.1. So now to find an approximation to this, all we're going to do is substitute this value of x back into our expansion. So we have 1 plus 12 lots of 0.1 plus 60 lots of 0.1 squared plus 160 lots of 0.1 cubed. And we can work this out. So 12 times 0.1 simplifies to this. 60 times 0.1 squared is a 0.6. And 0.1 cubed times 160 is 0.16. We can add these four terms together and we get 2.96. So this is our approximation. Okay, let's move on to our next question. So for this question, we've been asked to expand 3 minus x to a power of 8 in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. So before we can expand this, we need to remember that the binomial expansion works when it is written in the form of 1 plus x to be n. And this is clearly not in that form because of this 3 here. 
So we need to take this 3 out of this bracket to make it equal to 1. So we'll factorize that with 3. And then 3 times 1 will make the 3. But we also need to take out the 3 here. So this becomes minus x over 3 to a power of 8. Because then when we multiply it back by 3, it becomes x. And this is all raised to a power of 8. So I'm going to expand it out again, this time multiplying it out with 3 and the power of 8. So now we have 3 to the power of 8 multiplied by 1 minus x over 3 to the 8. And from this form, we can use our expansion. So to write out our expansion, we have 3 to the power of 8 multiplied by 8 choice 0 of 1 to the power of 8 multiplied by negative x over 3 to the 0, plus 8 choice 1 of 1 to the 7, and then minus x over 3 to the power of 1, plus 8 choice 2 of 1 to the 6, and then negative x over 3 to the 2, and our final term, 8 choice 3 of 1 to the 5, and negative x over 3, to a 3. So we can tidy this up. We have 3 to the 8, and inside our bracket, 8 choice 0 is 1, as is 1 to the 8, as is negative x over 3 to the 0. So all of that becomes 1. Our next term, 8 choice 1 is 8. Again, this is 1, and we have a negative x over 3. So this becomes negative 8x over 3. Our next term, 8 choice 2 is 28. This is 1, and then negative x over 3 all squared. So this is 28 lots of x squared over 9. And for our cubic term, 8 choice 3 is 56. This is 1. And then negative x over 3 all cubed is negative x cubed over 27. So this becomes negative 56 x cubed over 27. We can work out 3 to the power of 8 as 6,561. So now we can write this on the outside of our bracket. So the next thing we'll do is expand the brackets. So we have 6,561 and then minus 17,496 x for our square term plus 20,412 x squared and for our cubic term minus 13,608 x cubed. So this is the expansion here. So now for part b, we've been asked to use this expansion and a suitable value of x to find an approximation to 2.94 to the power of 8. So like we did in the previous question, we can say that 3 minus x is equal to 2.94. So x will be equal to 0 0.06. And now we can substitute this value into our equation expansion here and when we work on this out we get 5609.3 okay let's try one final question okay so in this question we've been asked to expand 1 plus 2x to the power of 4 in ascending powers of x and then to use the expansion to find the coefficient of y squared in this expansion so we'll begin by expanding this. So because we're raising it to a power of 4, I can do a lot of this through memory. So we have 1 plus 4 lots of 2x to the 1 plus 6 lots of 2x squared plus 4 lots of 2x cubed and then 2x to the power of 4. We can tidy this up, so we have 1 plus 8x plus 
25x squared plus 32x cubed plus 16x to the power of 4. If you're not sure how I did this, you can go back and use the end choice R button on the calculator to work out these individual terms here. Okay, so now we've done part A, we're going to use our expansion to find the coefficient of y squared in the expansion of 1 plus 2y plus 2y squared all to the power of 4. So again, we're going to begin by looking at the original expansion and the next part of our question. And you can see we have this one is common with this one. And the 2x term is now the 2y plus 2y squared term because the powers are the same. So we can write this as an equation where 2x is equal to 2y plus 2y squared. And now we can factorize the right hand side and cancel out the twos. So x will be y plus y squared. So now we can substitute this expression for y into our expansion to find the coefficient of y squared. Well, we can't substitute it in here because there's no x term, but we can substitute it in the 8x term. So we have 8 lots of x, which we're going to write as 8 lots of y plus y squared. And then looking at the x squared term, we have 24x squared. We'll substitute it in our expression. So 24 lots of y plus y squared, r squared. And then if we look at the x cubed term, we have 32 x cubed. We'll substitute in our expression. So 32 lots of y plus y squared, all cubed. And now when I expand this out, the lowest power I will have is when I raise this y to the power of 3. But I only want the, the coefficient of y squared. So I'm not going to continue any further than these two terms. So we'll expand this out. We have 8y plus 8y squared. So now we'll expand this out. So we have 24 lots of y plus y squared. And again, and when we expand this out, we've got 24 lots of y squared plus 2y cubed plus y to the 4. And all we're interested in is the y squared term. So we've got 24y squared. And we're not interested in this 8y. So we can cancel this out. So the coefficient of our y squared term is 8 at the 24, which is 32y squared. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.